everybody. Today we're going to go over the 2023 ZH20D and I've got the BH24D behind it. Uh, we just did a video on the ZH25D, the Dash 2, the new body style for 2023. We have uh, a few things to show you guys. So the biggest, I guess, request, complaint, whatever you want to call it, on the ZH20D was boom reach, boom dump, okay? So what we've done is we've extended our boom reach. Uh, we've added uh, a few inches to the dipper and we went from a 7 foot 10 reach come out here to my camera guy to 9 foot 9 for overall reach that's from the front of the machine that's not max radius max radius you're going to add another about 16 inches to that so you're going to be 11 foot max radius and that pretty much puts us right where our BH24D guys are you know that was kind of the kick from one to the other do I go with the 20 or the 24 and I mean everybody kind of kicks that around or the 25 and we just did the 25 so if you're not sure check out that video but we're going to concentrate on these right now so you're 24 and your 20 now the boom reaches are very comparable about 9 foot 9 9 foot 10 from the front of the unit the 20 has your hydraulic joysticks hydraulic joysticks polymolded canopy polymolded canopy the 20 has the protector the hard lines and now the 24 when you look at your 24 it's got a higher capacity bucket if you look across these two buckets that bucket has an extra little bit of capacity to it and that one has a triple diverter so three-way diverter i mean the 20 is I, I mean it really comes to how you want to operate your unit and here's what i'm going to go over the 20 has the big foot uh foot pedals so you can drive it by your foot i personally like driving with my hands but you know some people like driving with their feet and it has the thumb on the foot on the 24 it has your blade anthem on the foot so it's you know like i said it's kind of whatever you want but the mechanics part of this i just went over in another video if you look at the back of these this is your access for a 20 okay the 20 has this big plate in here for your counterweight and this is your access i mean it's not terrible it's not the worst one we've ever seen you know, if you work on Bobcats, especially them engines are in there sideways or G John Deere, where you got to take the whole cab off or New Holland or, you know, whatever. But on the 24, the whole back pops open. So now you can access everything. And then this is a Kubota D902, which is going to be a bigger alternator, you know, a little bit better charging system, and then a heavier chassis on the bottom where that one's going to be, I mean, it's within an eighth of an inch, but still, this one comes in at 3,200 pounds because we add some plating on the sides. We add a little bit more plating on the undercarriage and the chassis just to get that weight up. But, you know, for my mechanics out there, you know someday you'll work on your equipment. I mean, it doesn't matter what you buy. I don't care what you spend. Someday you're going to work on it. And that to me as i work on stuff is you know one of the things i like and then a little bit more horsepower a little bit a uh, little bit heavier this unit and the, the chassis is actually longer so if you look at this guy this from here to here because that molds into your canopy where this body is a little bit longer so just a few things to consider when you're looking from 24 to 20 and there's you know it's dealer's choice if you like running stuff with your feet the blade especially the 24 is the one to go with if you would rather have, like like me, I like having my my hands to run it. Like I said, I don't like these. The 24 has a bigger station. And if you want to see it one more time, we have nothing at your feet over there because we have the shorty sticks. Now, you still have drive sticks on your, on your sticks there, but they are side by side compared to right in front of you. Now, this unit, this is where some people get confused. They think this is just a step. This is where your feet go when you're not using it, when you're using side swing, right there. So just something to, to kind of look at. We have a bunch of videos of these things running and operating and everything, and we've only continued to improve on them, and we've taken some of the, uh, some of the suggestions and implemented them. So I'm not going to run them around today. We're trying to, to stay ahead of the weather. We're trying to, to get out of the cold, to be honest. But I will see you guys in the next video. We appreciate everybody, and we'll see you later. If you're interested, give us a call at 570-765-9338. Thanks. Have a good one.